Hey guys, welcome to Board Bashing. Today, we have an $18 camcorder from Walmart. The title says $20 just because it looked nicer, but it's really $18. This video would have been a grocery store's phone episode, but my sister recently lost her iPhone at school, so I gave her this phone to use. This video will be coming soon. Anyway, I am tired of buying something to smash, and then a tech YouTuber reviewing the thing I'm gonna smash after I preview that I'm gonna smash it. First, it was Austin and Vons with the Akatel One Touch Pixie Glitz. Now, it's Techno Buffalo with this camcorder. Luckily, the one they bought was defective, so I still have a chance. Hopefully, this still works from all the times that I threw it down. So let's unbox this! Wow, it is really light. As you can see, it does look like $18 worth of tech. I love how the screen has this unnecessary, annoying text, and it doesn't even match the screen shown on the box. To keep the cost down, it takes three AAA batteries, so you'll always have one left. And the SD card? Okay, now let's boot it up. And let's find out if I wasted almost $200 on this Canon when I could have bought this instead. Ooh, nice startup noise. And it's not defective. Suck on that, Techno Buffalo. Asking us to format the card, yes. I'm hitting OK. I'm pretty sure the OK button is defective. I'm gonna play with this just a second. OK, we're into business now. So I actually used the Canon to initialize the card and now it's readable for some reason. So if you wanna buy this, you probably should have a camcorder already. Taking a look at this lens, it's just like ridges that go into a small little eye. This is not a good quality lens. Next, the screen can only open in and out, and it won't shut off if you close it. And these buttons weren't effective, because when I was hitting OK at that format screen, it was beeping, so I don't know why it won't format the card. It's obvious that it's gonna be digital zoom. Oh uh, yeah, look at that pixelation, and it's not even that far of a zoom. Video mode. This is photo mode. This is playback. Ooh, you can change the quality. Yeah, we want HD. There are different startup sounds. What the hell? What's wrong with startup sound number one? It's like its file got corrupted or something because the rest of the startup sounds are normal sounding. Yeah, we want that sound to start up on. What's power frequency? Is that something to do with the, like, battery voltage? I don't know. Ooh, it has an auto shut off mode. And you can choose how long you want it on for, unlike this Canon. <laughs> Time and date, we're not gonna bother with that because I don't care. Indicates it was made in 2014, so... <laughs> Let's see the settings on picture mode. The highest resolution is 640 by 480 on picture mode. Quality, super fine, yeah. Metering, don't know what that is. Driver mode, what is that, like some safety feature if you're taking photos of the car? Ooh, you can choose a self-timer time. This Canon doesn't even have an option for a self-timer for photos. <laughs> you can choose your own startup image if you want. Will it format? So now it formats. It won't format if you put it in right away. So when you turn it off, it gives you a catchy beat to listen to. Goodbye. For $18, this is actually really not that bad. Now, let's try some test videos and photos. This is going to be a photo. Three, two, one. That shutter sound is horrible. Now, let's try video. Hey guys, playing Rock What Do Four here with the Jazz video recorder. Mhm. Mm I wonder if it's good enough to replace this. Right now it's recording at 720p. The playback quality is horrible and the speaker is so quiet. Okay, next we're gonna do a side by side comparison. Walking along the garden. Walking along the garden. With the camera side by side. Walking in the street. Walking in the street. Looking like an idiot because I have two cameras. Oh shit, I caught Walking through the house. Walking through the house. Have an urge to throw this down. Wow. So I tried to play a clip 
and now this appears. <gasps> Why do they call it jazz? That's not even jazz music. Ugh. Those side-by-side -side video comparisons are boring. Let's test the video quality by smashing something. This. My childhood camera. Oh, Playmark124, why do you have to smash an insignificant piece of plastic? It probably represents your entire childhood. This is the Olympus FE170. Six megapixels. Let's take its last photo. Yes. And I would show you the video, but it's horrible. And now, let's destroy this thing. But I should hurry, because this thing only has 10 minutes of recording time, because all I had was a 2 gigabyte SD card. We're gonna leave a movie recording during its last moments. I'll miss you, old friend. Three, two, one. One. Caved it in a little bit. What's still power on? I hear the lens moving. Yes, it still works. Three, two, one. Two, one. Power. Nope, it's dead this time. What would happen if I plug it in with USB? Yep, it's dead. Rip. Oh yeah, this is kind of random, but. Do you know why it received all these scratches? <laughs> like oh my god, a giant cat! I gotta get a photo! Playtime is over. Uh, the flash capacitor, don't touch it. Oh yes! Smashing that camera was so exhilarating, but I'm not satisfied yet. What else can I break? Hmm... Huh? And before I do that, I want to see if this thing can replace a GoPro! First up, a shower test! Wow! Still on? Whoa! Whoa! Still working? Third time, still... T still working! Still working? Third time, still... T it's pushing buttons by itself. Can't get it back to video mode. Now it's glitched up, but let's still do the submersion test. Hmm, still works underwater. That's a nice moving pattern. <laughs> oh God, what, what is it doing now? Some kind of seizuring. Hmm, it's stuck on green now. Let's take it out. And now change to blue. Now, the LCD durability test. Beautiful! At least it's not all blue now. Now the LCD is completely off. Oh my god, guys, it still works. Hear that? Oh, this? Well, it's not even a test anymore. And now, the burn test, featuring part of an Olympus.
I was in such a hurry to tear into that packaging that I didn't notice that this fell out. 